Here we go. I just took it a little bit. Awesome sauce. Let's get back over here. Alrighty guys, y'all are here with me, Tori. We are gonna be doing our new wooden cow door hanger. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of paint and then we're gonna be doing a mesh wreath around it because this is a wreath base. It's pretty interesting. I wanted, some, I wanted to try and come up with something a little more um, sustainable to see if we could, because wreath bases, the metal ones are getting so hard to find right now. Hey y'all. And I wanted to see if we couldn't try and do something a little different comparative to what we would normally do. I'm just trying to get everything set up so I can see everything. Maybe, sort of, kind of. All right. Hey, Miss Kennedy. All righty, y'all. So, my plan for this, I want to paint this black, and then I want to do this brown. Yeah. Because I'm doing burlap and black, and then I have, let me grab one of my others. I'm going to do these four lovely ribbons, and this, my lighting in here is so horrible, but it's like a peachy coral kind of color. Um, let's see. No, nope, that didn't help. Like, maybe? You can't quite tell in this light. I tried to open my blinds, but this is like a weird thingy. It doesn't want to cooperate. But anyway, let's get to it, y'all. Oops, where am I at? <laughs> no, the baby is fine. Hey, Miss Ann. Sorry, guys. Nala is having a conniption. She wants to go outside. But she's not going outside right now. So... Hush. Can we? Okay. Alrighty. So I'm actually just gonna lob some paint on there and start brushing. kind of just in case I have some some of this wood that wants to play peekaboo I'm gonna kind of give that a little brush too that and I got a lot of excess um paint because I lopped a little too much on there so we're just going to spread it around
And these outside rings, I'm not too terribly worried about. I'm just trying to get some excess paint off of my cow because he's kind of... He's a little covered. Now that we kind of got him painted black, we will set him to the side and pull up our other keys. I gotta like awkwardly shove this. I do love to paint Miss Ann. I I'm definitely um I'm not a, I don't think my roofs look the best, so I paint to make up for that. <laughs> but this is an easy paint. And I grew up as a kid, I loved to draw and color and do all that loveliness. some black in there. So painting is just kind of very relaxing to me. But for those of y'all that don't like to paint, I am actually working on, for some of our projects that we have that we paint, I'm working on stickers for, which I think one of Lori's lives, she showed them all. We're still perfecting it because sizing and perfecting how we put our method of putting the sticker on itself to the project, making sure it looks really good for y'all. So if you're not a painter, you can still get the paint projects and we'll put a sticker on it. Well, thank you, Miss Ann. I've definitely taken a lot from Lori about what to do with some of my wreaths and all that. And definitely, I keep looking at something and trying to tweak and tweak and tweak and tweak. And just like, just walk away from it for a second and come back and see how you, how, what you think. I'm like, oh, you are right. It looks good. My light in here is awful, so I can't tell if I got spots or not. Okay. Set that up for there. And then I'm actually going to paint his tag, um, I think I might paint his tag white. Hi, Miss Rhonda. Yeah, I think I might paint his tag white. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll leave the tag. Because I that was all the painting we're going to do. Um, I can't tell if I want to make this. I'm going to do it. Ooh, I know what I'm going to do. We are going to lightly dab my little thing and kind of. Whitewash this. Give it that little rusticky look. Yeah, I like it. Ah, did 
did not hold my project. Either that or we're, because I kind of messed up my rustic-y look up top. We are going to take some of this brown that we use for our cow and there we go. Kind of make it like a I'm telling y'all, my lighting keeps changing because of the sun. Like a little ship whack rusticky look deal. I know y'all have to love my terminology. My terminology is great. Y'all can't see that, but okay. <laughs> okay. So my mumu should be dry. Not you. My Great Dane Sarge, he is a Harlequin. He, um, ooh, I love the whitewash look. And I think it's going to look really cute, like Declan on his ear right here. But I may. I set my desk up like right under an air vent or right above an air vent. See? Brown cow. Which he kind of looks. I don't know. We're going to zhuzh up this cow a little. Because. So I'm kind of going in and, oops. Kind of making it a little rusticky looking. Cause I'm not quite sure how I like that full black and brown. Kind of yucky looking. Oh yeah, that looks a little bit better. Maybe. What do y'all think? I don't know. Go in with a little bit more white some places. messed up my, you know what, we're just gonna, it's gonna be a white cow with like brownish to it. I definitely messed up my cow, y'all, compared to what I thought I was gonna do. Sorry guys, I have a German Shepherd that's throwing a hissy fit right underneath me. So if you hear her whine, she just wants to go be in the shop with her daddy. She's perfect. She's okay. She's just talkative. She, she's mad that she got left in the house with 
me and her brother while her dad's outside. Okay. And just kind of... There we go. Pretty cow. And then that kind of matches our thing now. So that works. All right. I'm actually going to set this piece to the side since I did a little extra to him. And me, I don't know why my, my iPad's not showing like how it looks, but it looks different on the YouTubes. So that's how my cow turned out. And now we are going to start on some mesh. What did you just break? Okay. Maybe that was just full walking on the ground. Okay. I gotta stand up for this, guys. <laughs> Alright, I am going to relocate this paint to right there. Sorry, I got to move a little bit of my stuff around so I can actually get to my, my other stuff. Yes, ma'am. I heard you. I heard you the first time. Where did... I'm losing my mind, y'all. Did I not get them out? I know I got them out. Oh, my goodness. Ah. I lost my box of zip ties, and lo and behold, it would be sitting right under the ribbon that I showed y'all. <laughs> so, thanks guys. So we are actually rethinking too. So bear with me because I, I am not Lori, so we are going to do the best we can. Hey, Miss Ellen from Alabama. Okay, joking. So we are gonna, where's my thingy? Gonna use the tool. You probably should have put my ties on first, but you know. It happens like that. So, I'm gonna start with the bottom and in the back. I'm thinking it's gonna end up being like two ties from how my math worked. There we go. And then we're gonna, that's not right, so, that's not that one. Need this one. And then we're gonna roll, roll, get the thingy. And then that one's got funky. Roll. There she goes. And I tell you, I said Moo Moo, and my dog brought me his toy. Isn't that stinking cute? And then we'll go ahead and stick. 
that, paste, and yes, son, I see your moo moo. Thank you for bringing me the moo moo. Y'all, this is, I'm excited about this one. I'm already excited just looking at that piece. I don't even have the main piece on. <laughs> So yeah, it's gonna be about two ties per thingy. Um, Y'all, this ruffle tool has changed my life. <laughs> my ruffles normally look like a hot mess express happened. Looks more like a hairball than a ruffle normally. And this tool just gave me like these really, really pretty ruffles. And I'm excited. Closer to the middle than what I had. Okay, there we go. Um, I do believe I'm going to put our house number, and then I think I want to do our last. What's going to be my new last name? So. And just a reference, this is Tori instead of Lori. Lord, nothing happened with Miss Lori and John. I, I apologize for saying it like that. Um, I got engaged. So we just bought a house. We got engaged and we're doing all the stuff like decorating and all that. And this is part of my decoration is I get to make wreaths and all that loveliness. There we go. I'm gonna switch it from that one to this one. Thank you. So I'm probably gonna put our house number and what's going to be my new last name. My dog has destroyed his toy. And I'm going to go back through and kind of fix where these ties are and kind of stick them back in or not stick them back in stick them like down and cut them off and all that great stuff I get so distracted when I'm doing stuff, y'all. I'm sorry.
my only advice with this is you might should put your ties on first. <laughs> I'm learning my lesson with these wood rails and not putting my ties on first because I'll have like my mesh in my hand and like slowly end up letting my mesh go. And then I'm like, um, wait a minute. Oops. Y'all, me and this camera stand are not getting along today. <laughs> mesh is so pretty and it's so easy to work with and it's got this um border stripe on the bottom of it and that's why I'm like ooh I want a border stripe because this definitely goes for like every day it goes for um it can go for every day I could change out my ribbons in it and honestly I could use it all year round just about because if I um kind of slide him over so give me a little more room so I could honestly use him all year round just change out my ribbons and my bow and he'd be super super cute I'm gonna just leave that in there and go ahead and put my tie on this time let's stick that in there kind of not fluff down my others. Doo -doo. That one. And then what I'm doing with the black mesh is a Supposed to be a woodland ruffle. Mine looks like a high mess, but it's turning out good, you know. Ribbons do not want to stay where I'm putting them. We'll fix that in a little bit. 
Not even going to stress about it. Hey, Miss Donna, um, this is not a wreath kit. This is actually a standalone kit. So you can, but you can buy the two meshes and this cow ribbon. The peach is something I had, and I think I'm going to put some florals in it now that I'm looking at it. So I'm going to, I did bring some home from the shop. But the cow you can buy in the shop, the mesh, and the cow ribbon you can buy in the shop. Um, but the cow print ribbon is definitely what inspired this whole, um, ordeal for this wreath is I wanted I wanted a cow door hanger and I did the hay y'all and I left it at the studio and I think someone bought it can't remember but I was like it would be so cute if I could do a mesh wreath with a cow in the middle and I was like oh my god so, me and Megan put our heads together, and this is what, well, I told Megan what I wanted, and this is what I got, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. But definitely, the ribbon inspired the story hanger. <laughs> I want to say this is like one of the fastest I've made a wreath. That needs to go not next to the wall. Let's put that over there. Give me a little more space for my stuff because I feel like I'm struggling with space. That would be super cute. Here we go. I definitely, I'm a cow person. This is looking really full too. I'm highly surprised. I might not need all this mesh that I put. That's another thing. I definitely, that's not the step I'm on. I overestimate what I'm gonna use. 
I'm like, um, I'm going to need this, 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 that, and all that. But I don't end up using all of it. Top was a little off. Thank you, Miss Ann. This is probably some of the fastest I've ever made a wreath as well. Because we are actually almost done, <laughs> surprisingly. Oh, sorry guys. Oh yeah, I skipped one. I've skipped two, actually. So I'm trying to get two ties on each thing. So I need to stick a tie there. And then tie here. Oh, y'all can't see what I'm doing. I'm sorry. So I'm trying to get two ties in each little section. And I actually skipped one. So we're going to go back through and put those two in. Go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and stick my zip ties in there. Do, do. Just so I'm not like fighting for space. Please, yes, I love I love to see everybody's projects. That's one of my favorite things that has gone on since I started working for Lori. I get to see so many of y'all's projects and they're so pretty. And I'm like, oh my gosh, look at this. And then it's like, I would have never thought of that. And I see all the cool stuff. I'm like, eh, all the stuff. And it just makes me want to create like everything. Oh, I see what you're looking at, Mama. Joey is like outside shutting some kind of gate on the property. And Nala can see him, so she's going to stand here at this window and whine. Again, I apologize for my crazy dog. Because she, she is a talker. And what I might end up doing, depending on how this part, how this one ring turns out, I might just go back through and add a few pieces here and there because it's looking, she's looking pretty full. 
And I really like how she's looking so far. So let's kind of tilt y'all up a little bit so y'all can see a good bit. So she's looking kind of full. So I might kind of go through and add pieces here and there on that outside to kind of make it a little bit fuller looking or not as bare in between. And I'm just talking like a few pieces, like not a full set of mesh like I'm doing now, but maybe just like a few pieces of this extra mesh that I have. Maybe add some of this ribbon in some places and kind of see where that takes us. And we still got a bow to get to. I promise I won't keep y'all long. She's throwing a hissy fit. It's definitely what's going on right now. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, ma'am. Just because you're barking doesn't mean you get what you want. That's why that one looked funny. There we go. Oops. See, I get to talking and I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. I put the wrong ribbon on the wrong tie. Turn it. Oh, yes, ma'am. This rubble tool, I'm telling you, I I would be lost without it right now. Y'all would be watching me like the attempt of a ruffle. Instead of what I'm doing now. That was part of the whole.
Thank you. It's gonna look really cute once we get that center on and put a bow. That's what I'm saying. Normally it would take me like so long to do these ruffles, but, but now it's like, I feel like I'm cranking them out like crazy. Hello. You will definitely love it. I promise. Cause it'll, it'll feel so much better on your hands too. Hi Miss Beverly. Oh yeah, she's looking pretty. Make sure I'm still on track back here. And then I think I'm gonna check on my cow face and it's dry. So before we finish out all this mesh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and like glue him down so I can get to where I can make sure we can kind of see him and he's not hidden. I'm using the tight bond to glue down and I'm going to glue on the back of this cow head.
And then with me gluing this on, it'll give it time to like let the glue set. while I'm finishing out this re. All right. Gonna slap him on into place. Like so. So he's looking stinking cute so far. Nice and full wreath. Oh my goodness. Super cute. Yes. We are mixing a ruffle with a woodland ruffle. Because I like that a little bit of curl in it. Just kind of make it more like, I don't know. laying the rest of my pipe cleaners in here just so I know where they're at. That ruffle kind of came out funky, but it's okay. She'll flip out. Um, my mesh cut is at 18 and then my ribbons that I am using are 10 inches and I use my comb to cut them.
You'll love the comb because I, I have perfect tails, but where they are, I don't know. I always lose them, and it's always the ones I need I lose. My perfect tails are like a 10 millimeter socket. You know how your husband can't ever find his 10 millimeter socket? That's how my perfect tails are. I cannot find them. And then it's always when I don't need them, I'll find them. But that does not want to. Okay, there it goes. Um, the frame size. It should be on that listing, though. Where am I at? Yeah, it should be on the listing. I want to say it's an 18, though. You are welcome. Yeah, I, we just moved in to a new place, so I don't know if they got lost in the move or what, but they disappear a good bit, and I'll find them in random places, and then it's just hard to keep up with.
Getting down to the last bit over here. So after these two, we will do our um, bow. Oh yeah, shit's gonna be really pretty. Kind of working here to find my tie. Set that in there how I want it. this in there.
kind of go through and fix out all my ribbon, tuck in some of those um, extra ties or that extra length of tie that's in here. Alrighty, so now that we got that done, I'm going to make our bow. And I'm just using the scrap ribbons that I have from all my stuff plus the full roll and that chair back up. And then I talked to y'all about putting a little bit of greenery in this bow. And this is going to be our greenery that we're going to use. It's pretty eucalyptus. This is also in our shop. I'll be putting that in last, though, and kind of make my bow first and go from there, and then we'll stick that kind of in the back. Some of these grass, that, and I found this really cool grass stuff and these really cool flowers in my stash, so I'm going to use those as well. I'm probably going to end up putting some of this grassy stuff throughout my um, wreath. So we're going to start with this black. So I want this black as a base. So we're going to do 8 inch tail, 6 inch loops. And we are just going to kind of leave that at that one because that's what we got. Where are my scissors? I have lost the scissors. Scissors. Then we're going to do our cow. And remember to twist your ribbon when it's a pattern ribbon. Okay, come on. There we go. Pretty sure I'm about to do two loops of the cow.
quit. Oh my gosh, turn. There she goes. Didn't want to turn for me. I want that pink to pop through on the top. So we're going to do this burlap next. We'll do one loop of that. Because that's about all that we are allowed. This bow is going to look really awkward too. I just figured that out. And my peachy color. Kind of break my bow here. We're going to take one, stick it behind, and two, and stick it behind. Like that.
Alrighty. I'm going to stick my bow up here. And find my pipe cleaner that I want to attach with. We're going to attach this bow. up some of these tails. Dovetail those. I'm gonna do a little curl here. Another little curl there. I'm gonna dovetail my cow. And my black. And what I might go do I can do is take some of this grass and tie it in. I think I don't want to actually. I don't know. Or maybe go back in and put like a flower somewhere because these flowers were really pretty but I I honestly think that this is enough all right let's lean y'all up a little bit so I can show you what she looks like maybe move it awful but there she is our beautiful cow wreath she needs a little more mesh in her oh no i skipped a tie that's what it is i skipped one i'll fix that no worries but here it is what do you guys think it's about to go on my front door. All right.